This smells amazing. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I am going to be trying out some fun makeup. So I was surfing Instagram and I saw that Crayola, yes Crayola, created a makeup line you guys. I don't know what took them so long because I feel like they are the epitome of color. They're Crayola. <laughs> so I picked up a couple of things from the line just to try out, you know. I ordered it from ASOS. I think it's only available at ASOS.com right now. So I picked up four items from the line. I'm going to show you guys what I got. I got this eyeshadow palette. I got a lipstick or a lip, a face crayon I think it's called. Lip and cheek crayon. I got mascara and I got a... Um, what is this called a uh, highlighter crayon so I'm gonna try these things out to see my thoughts on them I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow palette really nice design I really like it and it is called the mermaid eyeshadow palette so this is the inside of the palette I mean I feel like it could have had some more color going on on the package right here but you know they chose to give it a nice white and black cover when you open up this mermaid palette this is what you see but anyways I'm gonna swatch all these for you guys right now and these do not have names yeah these colors do not have names they're just literally colors which is kind of odd because you would think Crayola would have names for their colors should we name these let's name them sea foam mermaid green Ooh, this feels kind of nice I wasn't expecting it to feel like this. Usually these types of shadows feel more rough than this one did. This is the color here. Looks pretty good. Alright, next is this baby blue. Powder baby blue. Really nice. Really, really pretty. Next you have this aquamarine Barbie doll blue. Very pretty. I feel the mermaid vibes coming along. I'm going to take this color here because it's kind of in the same family. This is called... Elsa. Really nice. These are really pigmented in my opinion. They're super super pigmented. Which you know I would expect from Crayola. Alright so let's start over with this guy here. These feel really nice and smooth. Very pretty. Then there was this purpley lilac shade. We're gonna call it lilac. Then there's this shade over here we're gonna call Little Mauve because it's a little mauve you know. Put that right here nice this shade right here we're gonna call you pinky how original you guys pinky is really nice it looks kind of like white on camera but it's pinky and we have this beautiful purple shade up here nicely pigmented again very nicely pigmented and lastly we have this grayish shade right here we're gonna call you cement cemented and these are the colors of the palette they look really nice. I actually think they're super pigmented and they all look really good. I feel like these are all pretty much lid shades, not really crease eyeshadows. But I think they're all really, really gorgeous and they're all super pigmented, which is amazing. I'm gonna just take some of this color down here. I forgot what we named it already. And we're just gonna apply this right here. I did not put a light base on my eyelid. If I had put a light base, the color would show up a lot more, but I can tell that it is pretty pigmented. Yeah, I'm going to use the green one. I'm just going to dab that on my lid. We do have some fallout going on, and this color definitely needs some type of fix plus or something like that to work better. And I'm going to just add that to my lid. I feel like that didn't really help the shade do what I want it to do. Usually with Fix Plus, things just, you know, look a lot better. This one is still a little bit, like, almost blotchy. Um, yeah, it's kind of blotchy-ish. It looks kind of scaly. It's supposed to be the mermaid palette, but you know, we don't want scaly eyes, you know. I feel like this would probably go better with my finger. Alright, so it looks better with my finger on this eye, so I'm gonna just use my finger 
with a little bit of fix plus and my finger right, so this color is definitely hard to harder to work with it's not like super hard but it's definitely harder to work with than I would appreciate Right, so once you get the color in the right consistency, it looks really nice on the lid. It has some beautiful iridescent glitter on there. It's just really pretty. I'm going to take some of this blue right here, and I'm just going to pop that in the center of my lids. I'm going to use my finger. Just add a little bit more dimension. And I'm going to take this icy color right here and put that in the center. So it's nice and icy. So I'm going to go ahead and do mascara now. I'm going to use their mascara in the color Electric electric Blue. I like to let the primer dry a little bit before I apply mascara. The mascara looks like a Crayola marker. It's like the same shape and size almost. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this blue color. I'm gonna add a second coat of mascara because it's just not as bright as I want it to be. Let's try to get it all up in here. All right, so I added some more blue. I think it shows up a little bit more. So I'm gonna highlight my face now. I'm gonna use the highlighter to do so. This little sticky thing here. I'm just gonna swatch it first, actually. This is the swatch. It's really nice and pretty. It's like a cinnamon bronzy color. I like it. I like it. So I'm going to do my nose. It's always a little bit scary putting um, cream on top of powder. I actually really like this color a lot. Really nice. Let's add some here. And then blend that in with my finger. I feel like once you blend it out, the bronziness kind of goes away. All right, guys, so I went ahead and highlighted my face. I'm not sure where my camera cut off at, but it did cut off somewhere in that process. So, But now I'm going to go ahead and use the lip color. So the lip color I picked up is called Strawberry, and I'm going to look interesting with this eye lip combo. So, um, yeah. This is strawberry, and it's kind of strange. I'm kind of surprised that they chose to have white packaging. It looks more uniform if everything is white, and then the color itself is the color. Maybe, I don't know. But let's just apply this to my lips. This is also a cheek crayon, so I guess you can use it as a blush. But I'm not going to do that today because I just, I think it's going to be a little much, okay? I'm going to line my lips. Ooh, this smells amazing. I don't know what the smell is, but it smells really good. So just line the lips. What? Intarnation. So this is the color. I must say, this smells really good, and it actually feels really nice on my lips. And I do like the pigments. I like the feel of it. It feels really, really good. I actually, we'll probably get a couple more of these. I like the way they feel. So this is the entire look using Crayola makeup, you guys. I actually enjoyed these products. I think they were pretty fun to work with. I think it's a fun play collection if you're looking to play with makeup and just explore and have some fun. My number one recommendation would definitely be to try out the lip cheek crayons because I think those are really really nice and I love I love it like I really do thank you guys so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it thumbs up this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Ow.